Well, guys, we have a couple of topics for you. We will go over the current light curve of Tabby Star using both David Lane's and Bruce Gary's latest measurements. We will also show you the long-term light curve profile of Tabby Star over the past 25 months, and we will make a prediction on where we go from here. Well, this is the scatter plot of the V-band measurements of Tabby Star, which were taken by David Lane over the last 25 months. And as you can see, the measurements were following an accelerating long-term dimming curve until it was recently interrupted by a temporary brightening of Tabby Star that is represented by the measurements highlighted in the red circle. But notice one thing, the latest V-band measurement taken on November 30th is really indicating a continued dimming and getting back down to the level Tabby Star was at prior to the brightening event. So if we take the 20 data point simple moving average of this scatter plot, we get the light blue line which represents the long-term flux trend of Tabby Star. The best curve over these 25 months is the dark blue curve which consists of an accelerating long-term dimming curve profile and an incomplete Gaussian brightening curve profile. So if you use the 20 data point simple moving average as a way to track the long-term trend of Tabby Star, you don't have to guess as to the shape of its nominal curve. Anyway, the uh, brightening event, which achieved a 1.13% reversal in the flux dimming, is now headed back down for sure. And that brightening uh, event is highlighted in the red box. So let's take a closer look and update the curve of this brightening event using Bruce Gary's G-band measurements. So this is what the light curve looked like from our last update. So we will now move forward in time to take us to our last measurement received, which was on November 30th. Notice that all the last eight measurements are way below the average and seem to be falling out of bed. The best fit curve for the 20 data point simple moving average is shown here in dark blue. So let's bolden that curve and take away the measurements and the calculated 20 data point simple moving average markers and center the peak of the curve on the page. So if we superimpose a classic shaped Gaussian curve for comparisons, you can see an almost identical fit between the two. So we will go out on a limb now and say that the flux of Tabby Star will complete the right half of the Gaussian curve and then continue with its century long term dimming similar to this curve. But many have predicted and many have failed. So anyway, that's all we have today, guys. Take care of yourselves and we will see you in our next video update.